Hello everybody, Dean here again from Dean's Beer Reviews. Uh, we're going to do a, another Belgian wheat beer today. Um, in fact, it's a Trappist, um, believe it or not. It's the only Trappist wheat beer there is. Um, it's by also the only Trappist brewery outside of Belgium. They're from the Netherlands. It's La Trap. There you go, La Trap. Um, which is Koningshoven, which is the Netherlands. Um, and like I say, it's the only Trappist wheat beer there is. Um, Belgian wheat beers are a slightly different style to uh, German wheat beers. They taste more zesty and citrusy. And I mean, if you've ever had uh, Hogarden before, that's probably the most famous Belgian wheat beer there is. Well, this is a Trappist, so I'm expecting this to be considerably better. Um, as with all sort of wheat beers like this, the yeast sediment in the bottom, you know, you pour in, you include it as part of the beer because it's part of the flavour, part of the wheaty sort of smoothness. That's one of the characteristics of a wheat beer, the smoothness about it. Um, alcohol wise it's the lowest strength Trappist I think I've ever come across, it's 5.5 which is lovely and drinkable and I've got this, it's been in the fridge for a good couple of hours, um, it's probably about 6 or 7 degrees so it's not completely chilled but it's quite cool because these are refreshing beers. Um, right I don't think there's much more to say about that, um, yeah La Trap, Wit Trappist, Wit I just believe means white um, but it's a wheat beer. Um, right, crack the cap off, there it goes, right, ton of smoke coming out the bottle, um, as, as with all the Le Trap beers, and they always put the letter um, of whichever beer it is on the bottle cap, so this is wit, so there's a W, there you go, Fiona's not actually behind the camera at the minute, so I don't know if that was centre or not, and I assume, I can, assume you can see me as well, right, Glass of choice today is the Hogarden Grand Cru glass that I've used for the beer of the very same name once before in a review. There you go. Nice balloon glass, good for tasting. Right, I'm going to pour this now, but you have to be careful because these beers have big heads. So let's have a let's have a pour. Like I say, I'm not going to be careful with the pour at all, apart from with the head. As far as the sediment goes, I'm just going to tip the whole lot in. There you go, here comes the head racing to the top. There's a nice strawy, wheaty smell coming from it already. And there it goes, that's the whole lot. It's a nice label by the way, it's like a silvery, bluey white label. Very attractive. Right. Look at that. It's definitely cloudy. There's a... because it's a wheat here. There's a ton of bubbles coming from the bottom. Um, almost like champagne. If I hold it up to the light, it's a lovely opaque yellow straw colour. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I'm holding it right up to the top light there. It's a nice bit of sediment in the bottom there. The bubble's just screaming from the bottom. It's a nice, typically bright white head. Um, a mixture of big bubbles and small tight bubbles. Um, quite firm. So I'm going to give it a smell. It smells very nice. It smells ten times better than Home Garden smells, um, which is good, believe me. Even through the head, you're getting that um, that typical wheaty smell, which is commonplace in wheat beers. And anybody that knows wheat beers will know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, lovely and refreshing. There's a a beery, beery edge to it, although it doesn't smell like your typical beer, being it a wheat beer. Uh, sweet. Uh, sweet malty, well not so malty actually no, just sweet and wheaty. Uh, not too much from there but it's very very pleasant. Um, right, yeah that just looks fantastic. So La Trap with beer, let's dig in. Cheers folks. Mm. Very light, very light bodied, light on the tongue. Um, you definitely get that, that smooth weakness in there straight away. Like I've said this with, uh, I think it was the Berliner Kindleweiser review that I did. Um, the smoothness, it's like if you have had like a orange or lemon barley water as a kid, um, that smoothness, the fruit and barley sort of smoothness is like that. Um, give it another taste. Mmm. 
it's medium dry, it's not sweet. Um, these, to balance off the smoothness is the ton of carbonation on the end of the tongue. You can really feel the bubbles, I mean, I don't think you can make it out on the camera because there's not enough light, but there's loads and loads of bubbles. Lots of them. Um, the head's remaining, I've got a good two fingers worth of head. Easy. Um, Hey, standby Vez, wife's just entered the room. She's <coughs> back behind the camera now. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, that smell is... I'm getting sort of like a gingery caramel smell coming through now after that. Now the head's gone down a bit. Um, I've perhaps served this a tad too cold, maybe. Um, which is perhaps rob... Excuse me. Gas. Uh, robbing the smell a little bit. Robbing the taste a little bit. But... Um, I'm still getting a lot of it, nonetheless. I'll give it another shot. Cheers. Yeah, very refreshing. I mean, out of all the Trappist breweries, um, La Trap make the most varieties of beer easy. They, they do about six or seven, um, whereas the others do three or four at the most. Um, but this is a good addition. I mean, to make a Trappist wheat beer is quite something. It's not your typical double, triple, quadruple style of uh, Trappist beers. It's, it's, it's on its own, really, a bit like Orval. Um, but uh, it's really, really good. I'll give it another taste, see what else we can get out of it. Yeah. Smooth, citrusy, quite dry. Just an all-round refreshing drink. Um, like I say, hot weather drink this really. I mean, we're at the uh, 4th of December, um, so it's the wrong time of year to be drinking this and enjoying it to its full, really. But I'm just sat in my living room, you know, it's it's good. It would be much better if it was a hot day and we're outside with a barbecue. Um, but yeah, it's if you've had Hoe Garden, you will love this. This is better. Uh, not there's anything wrong with Hoe Garden, this is better. I mean, I've had the Hoe Garden Grand Crew, and you'll know because I've done a review of it if you'd like to watch it. But uh, I, th I still think this is better, to be honest with you. Um, because La Trappe are spot on when it comes to beers. These, these Trappist monks, they just, their passion when it comes to brewing is just right up there. You know, they don't get any profit for it, it's all about the beer. All their profit goes back into the community and the farming. So they really, really put a heck of a lot of work into these things. Um, so for a wheat beer, that is fantastic. Um, smooth, rounded, not sweet, which is what you want to be refreshing. You know, the tartness and the dryness makes it a very very thirst quenching and that's what you've got here um, yeah a trap whip beer bon appetit cheers etc